Hey guys, I am back. After a long hiatus, I am back making videos. Um, been doing a lot of Guy Carter stuff still. Just haven't really been posting any videos of it. Just haven't really found the time. You know, life kind of gets in the way of things. So that's that. Um, I want to thank a lot of new subscribers. The subscribers keep rolling in, even though I haven't been doing any videos. The subscribers just keep coming and coming and coming. So thank you to all you guys that keep coming in and all the other guys that keep talking about my channel still out there. Brother Marshall and um, Charles and Airball and those of you guys that talk about me, talk good about me. Thank you for that. Keep those subscribers rolling in. Thank you guys. Um, the reason I decided to come back on tonight was I got a new knife and I've been getting a lot of questions about it. Um, I don't know if people don't think the value is there for it or what. It hasn't really sold a whole lot. It's kind of a unique knife. Um, I bought it because it's kind of a rare feature on a brand that doesn't use this feature often. So what that is, is my newest Acquire, my Benchmade 300SN. And yes, it has an access lock, as you can see, but it also has a flipper which I don't pay super close attention to Benchmade, but I don't ever remember seeing any flippers, at least not from what I've seen. So it has a flipper and you can use the thumb stud if you want to. And you can also do the little axis lock flick, or you can just use gravity. Um, I think Blade HQ said there was like five ways to open this. But the reason I got it is, is I love the pattern on it. I mean, out of the box, it's pretty much pimped. I can focus on it there. Come on, you bugger. Oh, my light's fading out. There we go. Two-tone G10. Very cool looking. Very pretty, or manly, whatever you want to, whatever floats your boat. It is 154 cm, like most Benchmades in this price category, and it was co-designed with, or um, by, oh, I'm sorry guys, I forgot his first name, but his last name is Ball, you can see it right there on the blade, Ball Knives. But I love the blade shape. The action is smooth as anything that I own. It is just super, super smooth. Right out of the box. Um, I don't know if you're going to be able to see it on here, but the bushings, the washers, whatever you want to call it, are enormous. You can kind of see it right there. You go right up to the edge of the tang, and they're very thick makes it extremely smooth I mean to access back it's completely free I have a similar you know I have an access access see that the bone collector that I have with the access lock on it it's smooth it's not nearly as smooth as that one because you notice See, it doesn't want to, not quite as smooth as the 300. Still a great little knife. Very sharp D2. Also, what do you guys think about D2 compared to 154CM? I know 154CM is a little more stainless, or definitely a lot more stainless. But out of the box... This thing had an edge, the sharpest edge I've ever gotten out of a box knife. I don't you know, 
straight out of the box. I mean, it was hair popping sharp. I mean, look at that. Just completely just annihilates it. Just, look at that. I have not touched it. <laughs> I've used it a little bit. A few things here and there. Nothing major. But, I better get an even trim here. See if you guys can see that. I mean, out of the box, I've never had something that was that just popping sharp. But the reason for, the main reason for the video is people asking if the flipper is worth it on this. And I think it completely is. I love flippers. Absolutely love flippers. Um, one of my buddies on Instagram wanted to see the action that I use for flipping it open and closed. And I told you that I'd use my middle finger on the axis with my thumb, flip and then pull back, which you can do. It just it's kind of it's harder you can do it really fast that way flip it close it flip it close it but it's easier on the fingers if you close it with your index finger and your thumb flip close obviously you need gravity on your side because a lot it's so smooth but for $116, you just, I don't think you can beat it. Just very good looking. It's a little heavy. It's just under 5 ounces. It's like 4.8, I think. So it's a little heavy. Really thick G10. As you can see, really thick G10. Which makes it a little hard to use the, the thumb stud. Get your thumb down in there. You still can, but it's just easier to use the flipper and I don't see the action any different than any of your standard flippers obviously most these are all assisted I couldn't find a flipper in my collection that wasn't a Kershaw something about Kershaw and their little flippers but as far as the axis going with the flipper, because a lot of people like to do the flippers with one hand, um, I think it's a little safer as far as when you're closing it, because there's been a few times where I flipped and went to go close, and this one's not too bad because I've really smoothed this one out so it closes real easy, but you get a bigger one like this piston, you want to close it, you know, your thumb kind of gets in the way of the, the flipper, and you know, you got to... Uh, it's it's definitely kind of a fight. You know, you kind of make sure your thumb's out of the way. Everybody's used to that, but with this, you don't even have to move your hand. It's just pop, close, pop, close. It's so much faster and safer. Your fingers never get down here in the way of the tang or the blade. Just close, flip, close never have to move your hand so from the first flip you're in you know cutting position and when you're done put in your pocket very deep carry pocket clip Ooh, watch the tripod it's not assisted it's just smooth so just thought I'd show you guys that I think it's pretty awesome. Um, I wanted to get the Southern Spyderco Southern flipper. I'd love to have a Spyderco flipper, but that one costs twice as much. So for the time being, 116 bucks. It's pretty amazing. I mean, come on, it's like it's pimped right out of the box. Great grippy G10. Super grippy and everything is so smooth.
Blade HQ had it for 116 Amazon was still posting it for 150 So, you know, if Amazon's still posting it for 150 it's a good deal at 116 And you get a Benchmade flipper. I mean, come on. You don't have to have a flipper by Kershaw or ZT. And it be assisted. You just get a nice smooth... See, look at me. I'm going for the liner lock. To get something other than a Kershaw or ZT flipper that works well, without spending two or three or four hundred dollars, five hundred dollars, this is a great deal if you guys like flippers, which is my favorite way to deploy. So that's my thoughts on the Benchmade 300SN Axis Ball Flipper. So thanks again for all you guys hanging out and staying subscribed and all you new subscribers. I'm back. I will have some new videos very soon. For some, I'm going to show some orders that I've recently got. Show you guys some new stuff. Some uh, new ideas from customers of mine and new ideas of mine. So thanks again, guys. Show you guys what's going on here. Ooh. I'm going to show my collection in a video here soon. This is the new guy I got. It's called the Shuffle. 15 bucks at Walmart. Bottle opener. Nice cool little ridge back there. 15 bucks. It would be super cool if it was a flipper. But it's not. Alright, thanks again guys. Take care. Have a good night.